No, the roast chicken. <laughs> no. Okay. <It's> so weird. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> I think it'll be fun. Yeah. I mean, yeah. They're good. Hi guys. <laughs> Um, I hope you're doing all right. So here we have Liba Hello. from the amazing channel Lie Blob. Yeah. I've never said that I love before. Really? Yeah. A lot of people say Lib Blob, but it's Lib Blob because my name's Liba. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was speaking here. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> so from the amazing channel Lie Blob here on YouTube, of course, her channel will be linked in the description down below where you can go check out a vlog video um, that she'll be doing on her channel, obviously, because because we're hanging out. Yeah, because we're hanging yeah. out. She came from DC. DC. Yeah, I was America. Say Toronto. That was no. not right. <laughs> <laughs> she came from America, and as an American, she has not tried some Canadian snacks, and uh, I actually haven't tried some of this stuff either. So we're gonna try these things together, <laughs> and do a little, you know, snack try thing. Yeah, we went kind of ham. Well, I did. I picked up like everything I hadn't seen. <laughs> Some crazy <laughs> flavors here. So I'm really excited. It's gonna be fun. I love to eat. I'm most excited about the the coffee cokes. Yeah, um, we found soda <laughs> with coffee in it. And yeah. also poutine chips. Mm -hmm. And I'm just excited about like all dressed in ketchup chips because I just really like those. <laughs> so. And Kinder Eggs. Uh, the real ones, yeah. not the ghetto American ones. Uh, not legal ones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Illegal Kinder Eggs. And yeah, we're gonna do that. Yay. It's gonna be fun. Okay. What should we start with though? That's the real question. Maybe we should start with a drink. Yeah. We have a Corso. Here we have, anyways, we have this Coca-Cola. Oh, you have to like, here, ready? Tag team. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. It's Coca-Cola with coffee. We have a vanilla flavor. And then also, here we go. Uh, like a dark brew. It's so random. Okay, should we try the vanilla first? Yes. It just smells like soda. Okay. What if it just makes you more hyper? What if it's not even different? <laughs> we have like what if it makes you sleepy? Cheers to Canada. Cheers. <laughs> it tastes like soda, but also not like soda. It tastes like flat vanilla Coke. I can taste the coffee. That's like an undernote. If I was really tired and was craving a Coke. <laughs> it tastes like if you got like an espresso martini, but then you were like, no, don't put alcohol in it. Put Coca-Cola in it. That's what it tastes like. Okay, okay. But maybe the dark blend's better. Hmm? I'm not gonna pour as much though. Cause that yeah. was a lot. Oh, it tastes like- <laughs> I did like that. It's like, you like it? <laughs> I was gonna be like, oh, slay. I don't like it. Okay. It tastes like it's like if they had grounded up coffee beans and put it into Coke. <laughs> yeah, it's really weird. I don't mind it, but I wouldn't get it again, for being honest. If I was gonna have these, I would get the vanilla one. And that's only because like, already there's caffeine in Coke. So do they add extra caffeine or do they just add coffee flavor? There's coffee powder in it. It's so weird. I don't like that. This is definitely a Canada thing because it has like the... Canada stuff on it. <laughs> Intriguing. That's weird. Yeah, it tastes like if I got a soda and I, I poured my soda in my like morning old black coffee. I rate it four out of 10 Coca-Cola with coffee cans. The first one I wanna rate five and a half out of 10. Dang, you really like the vanilla. It's like if I wanted an energy drink, but I would just go for regular Coke. Yeah, right? Five out of 10. Oh, I would get a regular coffee. Yeah. Yeah. I would much rather have a regular coffee. And then the, the other one I would rate like three out of 10. I hated that. I like the second one better. <gasps> <laughs> but I wouldn't get them again. But I'm glad I tried it. It's a life experience. It's a life experience. I feel like I'm enlightened. 
<laughs> okay. Um, should we do chips or should we do candy? Should we go with what we're most excited for? The poutine? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Limited edition. Ruffles poutine. <laughs> Oh, yeah. and it's got the basketball logo. What are they called? Raptors? <laughs> Ruffles basketball poutine chips. And then on the back it says, poutine, eh? <laughs> does it? <laughs> yes, it does. Oh my god, I love that. Yeah. Okay. My goal as a Canadian is to get like my American friends to start saying eh. <laughs> I thought that was a stereotype, but I noticed a lot of people do say eh. Oh yeah. <laughs> when I was young, <laughs> I'm sorry. When I was young, I literally heard that it was a stereotype, so I stopped saying eh. Do you not like it? No, you have to embrace yourself. It smells like ramen packet seasoning. Oh. I don't mind it. Oh, it does. Yes. Yeah. It smells kind of good. Um, you have to embrace your Canadian. Yeah. yeah. Well, that was the thing. I got older. I was like, screw that. It's yeah. so fun to say. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Chip. Chip. Okay, we should chink it. Think. There we go. <laughs> Do you like it? I'm trying to find something to compare it to. I feel like it doesn't taste like poutine, but it's yummy. I had these pizza chips that I had bought and th this tastes like a watered down version of those pizza chips. Like they were very intense, cheesy, savory flavor. This is a less intense cheesy, savory flavor. But yeah. I, I definitely taste the, the curds. Yeah, I taste the cheese, but I don't taste the gravy as much. Mm-hmm. Uh, the gravy is like an aftertaste, actually. Thinking about it, I feel like I have the essence of gravy. <laughs> <laughs> the essence of gravy. No, I agree, I agree. I fuck with them. Yeah. Am I, like I allowed to curse on your channel? Yeah, go for it. Hell yeah. These slap. They're kind of fucking good. I would eat these. I would. I would edit my video and eat these chips because I always eat junk food when I edit my videos. Mm -hmm. I always order Domino's. Mm. Chicken Alfredo pizza. I always get myself a, a Coke with ice. That's mm. my like motivational editing food. All right. Well, oh, wait, wait, hold on. What should we rate the poutine chips out of 10? I give them an eight out of 10. Kind of bang. I give them a six. <gasps> six and a half. Because I wouldn't buy these myself, but I would eat these if someone else got them. Mmm. I think I would buy them. I don't know. I always go for my classics. What's your classics? Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> I'll try to catch up. Spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you should choose the next thing. Because okay. I chose, chose the first two things. Wine gums. Here we have... Wine the gums? Maynard's wine gums. I um, did not realize that was a Canadian thing and or not a DC thing. I don't know, I think it is a Canadian thing. I've never seen this before. I've been around the US. What, are they like wine flavored though or is it just like a gummy? Cause there's like a, a wine cork. Mm, I honestly like can't here. explain it. Like they're kind of there we go. not very sweet, but they're also kind of like very chewy, but they're also kind of fruity, but they're <laughs> like, I, this is why I was just like, we gotta just try it. Okay, here we have the gummies. I'm using the Coke oh. as a palate cleanser. Oh my God, they smell like alcohol. <laughs> they, they smell like wine. <laughs> <laughs> I like that you're still drinking the soda. Mm, I have a normal soda. Gums. They are a pretty firm gummy. I like firm gummies. Oh. Alright, chick. Boop. Oh wait, I'll try the same one as oh, you. Okay. okay. It just tastes like a normal gummy, I feel. I'm gonna chew it more. I already knew I liked wine gummies. <laughs> <laughs> I used to get them in the little they're like these little cylinder packets and they're all the um cylinder type like this. Mm. They, like stack up. I used to buy those. Really? Mm. I always like to reboot gummies. Yeah, they just taste like gummies, but they smell like wine. Like, a lot. It's kind of crazy. Kids eat these? Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess there's no alcohol in them. Mm -mm. They're getting them to taste young. <laughs> I feel like wine. <laughs> I actually don't like wine, but they taste like normal gummies, but they smell like wine. That is so peculiar. I'm curious what you'd rate them. 
I will give them Maynard's Wine Gums a 6 out of 10. I'll take that. <laughs> they smell a lot like alcohol. I'm so intrigued. Like, it smells like I'm at a bar. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool though. <laughs> All right, you get to choose the next one. I think I chose the first two. I want to do the Kinder Surprise. Okay, okay, let's do it. I do want the Barbie one though. You get the Barbie it's one. It's a little smashed, but we have these Kinders. Yeah. Let's see. Mine mine is Smurfs. <laughs> Hers is if Barbie. Will, oh, no. Don't focus on us. Focus on the eggs. Oh, it, <gasps> we almost. Oh, let's go. Oh, she's gonna go a little farther. <laughs> yeah. So I got the Barbie. She got the Smurf. Slay. Oh my god, speaking of Barbie, I really want the Barbie Nendroid. <laughs> Is this there is a Barbie Nendroid? Since you're an anime figure channel, maybe we <laughs> yeah, should talk about figures. <laughs> yeah, they really they have a Barbie Nendroid, and then I really want it because one of the poses is like the OG Barbie, mm -hmm. like the OG Barbie hair and the like striped swimsuit and like the face design, and it's so cute, and I really want it. But then they have one that's like a realistic Barbie face, and it's like really scary looking. <laughs> Wait, I'll show you. I'll show you. I know, I'll put like stuff up on the screen and stuff like that. I feel like I didn't mention, I know I didn't mention this before. Lyva also is a figure YouTube channel. <laughs> I collect anime figures, resin statues. Yes. Uh, I make custom androids. Yes. I, I don't do commissions, so don't ask me. No. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta show you the Barbie and Android faceplate jump scare. It's really good. Okay, okay, see, so, so, like cute. Okay. okay. And then like, oh. <laughs> Oh my god, that's horrifying. You should put it on the screen. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> but then also, Slay. Oh my god, that's so cute. <laughs> I want it so bad. I used to grow up, I played with Barbies all the time, so I really want this. But I don't want to play full price fair, because what is it? 85k, 8500 8, yen? So what, like, with the current rate, that's like $70? That's a lot. For us, it's I'll wait for the like crunchy roll. dollars <laughs> Yeah. I'll wait for the crunchy roll Black Friday sale for her to be in stock. Okay. Mm -hmm. Should I just bite into the egg or should I separate it? You I should separate it so you can take the the toy out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna see what toy I got. Did you open your toy up? No. Jesus. Did you just pop it up? Mm -hmm. You just like. All right. Oh, it's like a mini Barbie, I think. Oh, that's so cute. What did you get, mini Smurf? I just got a little mini oh, Smurf. Slay. I don't know what he's holding. Why is he holding that? Oh, I think he's like some kind of doctor. Right, here we go, figure unboxing. <laughs> yeah. Kinder Surprise Barbie. The pegs don't suit fit well into the stand, in case you're wondering if you're looking to purchase. <laughs> Poorly made, <laughs> Kinder Surprise figurine. Oh, she's like a race car driver. I don't think this is Barbie. I think that's like Chelsea or something. Chelsea. Yeah, it's some something. <laughs> Here's Mandy? mine. Mine's a little Smurf. Gotta like, right? And he's a little Doctor Smurf. And then if you and then if you switch, it's like wow. Now look, you can see his. Oh wait. Arm. Is I gotta put the sticker. Oh my god, it is. <gasps> <gasps> no. <laughs> it's a broken heart. Oh. He's a doctor Smurf. I didn't know Smurfs could be doctors. Hold on, I gotta put the sticker on her race car helmet. They can be whatever they wanna be. Can they? Lima. They live in the forest. Do they? <laughs> Here we go. Eh. Look at her, she slayed. Oh, Daniel, oh. get out of here. Uh, Don't look at me. Uh. Oh, oh, that was perfect, there we go. She's a race car <laughs> Barbie brunette. I think this is like a different, not a Barbie. But yeah. <laughs> See, I was a Bratz girl. I liked Barbies. Oh, I, was, I had lots of Barbies, but I was a Bratz girl. My parents wouldn't let me have Bratz. They said they were too slutty. Oh my god, they were so fashionable. <laughs> but you know what? Now I collect Monster High dolls, and they're just oh. basically the same. I know, they're so pretty. Oh, they're so expensive, because I buy the Skelector ones. Oh. oh but they're, they slay. She slays too. Ta-da! That's I, cute. It is cute. You can have, you can get a little gymnast. Mm. Or a nurse, or a pop star. I'm like the Smurfs. Barbie can be whoever she wants to it's be. Not even, it's not even <laughs> focusing. <laughs> oh wait, shit, it focused. Yeah, here is all the potential Barbies you can get from the kinder. This is very professional <laughs> unboxing. 
All right, word. I've had Kinder chocolate before, yeah. but this one's the one in America. The eggs, it's like a plastic eggshell, and then it's two halves, and you peel open the one half, and there's like a cream, unlike from Ferrero or Shea kind of candy, and then the other side's a toy. So it's only half an egg. It's not even an egg. It's like cream and chocolate. All right, cool. I give that ten out of ten because you get a toy. <laughs> should I choose the next, or should you choose the next? Oh, I chose I chose this one. Okay, so okay. Now one. we'll just alternate equally. Mm -hmm. Unless we forget, then you get it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Put my little chocolate there. The more I, I drink this, the more I hate it. Stop <laughs> drinking. <laughs> but I'm thirsty. <laughs> um, let's try the all dressed because I know you really like that one. Mm -hmm. This I is think a Canadian flavor. Mm -hmm. Ruffles all dressed. What's it all dressed with? I like all the chips have like their own little like blurb on the back. Can Canada's very own. You'll enjoy this bag of Ruffles all dressed chips if you enjoy unique Canadian food. It was invented here after all. You're seeking something sweet and salty and savory all in one bag. You love eating chips that will make your taste buds feel like they're gonna explode. <laughs> and then it's in French. <laughs> It smells good. It smells seasoned. How would you describe this smell? I don't know. There's a reason why I haven't answered you. Kind of like, like what they are. <laughs> I'm trying to give like the food, like we're like um, the Mike Chen blogging experience of food. It tastes kind. Of, it smells kind of like salt and vinegar mixed with barbecue. Oh, a big chip. I think it was supposed to be a barbecue chip, and then like. And then they made it Canadian. Yeah. <laughs> It's like tangy mm -hmm. and really flavorful. What's going on with the crackers? Sorry. <laughs> is that it? Is the, okay, I don't watch sports. Nobody clown on me like, oh, love you to know that. What is the Raptors? It says NBA. Mm. Is that an American or is this a Canadian? It's the Toronto basketball team. This Toronto, is there NBA in Canada or is it Canada and America combined? Oh, I am not, like, not a clue. <laughs> I, there was one time where, like, they made it very far and everyone was freaking out, and I just, I don't know. <laughs> These are fire, too. I'm trying to describe the taste. It's like, it tastes like a very specific kind of, like, Indian Pakistani spice, but I don't know, I can't remember what it's called. If you have any Desi fans, then they should comment down below <laughs> so I can creep in the comments. <laughs> yeah, these are banger. I wish fire. we had these in America. These are fire. Okay. I, I give these 10 out of 10. Because I love salt and vinegar chips. And I love things that are like seasoned deep. And this is fire. Hell yeah. All right. Your turn. Mm. Should we do something sweet? This is something I haven't tried. Big Turk. This is a Nestle Big Turk. Turkish Delight Candy. There we go. <laughs> we don't actually know if it's like... Canadian or not. I just like, she's like, what's a big Turk? I was like, I don't know. So we picked it up. <laughs> um, I mean, it's a Turkish delight, but I've never had a Turkish delight. The only thing I know about Turkish delight is from Narnia. It's in the first movie when Edmund sold out his family for it. Mm. I heard they actually aren't good. I heard that too. <laughs> but this one's chocolate covered. It looks like they're chocolate covered dates. I'm gonna get, I'm get off my closer. ass. It looks like dates kind of. I'm not giving good close-ups of chips, sorry. Okay, okay. Oh my god. But I'll give the chocolate close-up. I mean, I wasn't even planning to really do that myself, so like, you're okay. a step ahead. Oh, they're caramel. Are they? Licorice? No. It's like a jelly. It's like a gummy candy. That's like cherry flavored, covered in chocolate. Here, cross section. See? Look how intriguing that is. I think I like that. <laughs> it's okay. It kind of reminds me of the Swiss. The, the, the those little balls that have the cranberries mm. in them, the chocolate. The ones that you get from Costco? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like Brooke, those. Brookfield? Brook? Yeah. Yeah. Those. It kind of reminds me of that, just like there was more on the inside and it's a little bit more candy like. I want to tell my family out for it. <laughs> in Narnia. <laughs> I don't know, same. I might. I kind of like that. <laughs> I want another one. <laughs> I want 
I went to Iceland for a week in college and they had all, it, this is like kind of like, I feel like it's like very Icelandic. They love like licorice covered in chocolate. And so I got all these Icelandic candies and it was all just different licorice just covered in chocolate. And I was like, oh my God, I'm in hell. <laughs> it was like black licorice. That's the worst kind. This is like Twizzlers-esque. Eh, it's intriguing, but I wouldn't get it again. I'm still kind of confused if I like it or not, but I think I do. Mmm, Turkish delight, big Turk bar. I give it, I'll give it like a five out of 10. Cause it was good, but I was like, meh, you know. I'll give it like a six and a half. You heard it here first. You know what, no, I lied. I'll give it a seven out of 10. Cause Ooh. I might buy one of those again. Ooh, okay, mm -hmm. slay. Next one. We have three more chips. Five candy bars, I can't count. <laughs> Okay, maybe we should do the candy bars so that we can space out the chips. Mm. Um, let's try this O. Henry. Here it is. Right, get a, there we go. I, I'm figuring it out. This is the O. Henry candy bar. Has crunchy peanuts, chewy fudge, creamy caramel coated in a chocolatey coating. And then everything's in French and English because Canada. Okay, we have some thing left there, so we're not even a mouthful. <laughs> I like the Henry's. They're not like my favorite things. So I'm not a big fan of like nuts and stuff, but mm. I like them. You know, you get them for like Halloween and stuff, so you eat them. It's kind of like a Snickers, but it's a bit more bougie because it has full peanuts in it. So it's like if you had a Snickers that had full peanuts in it. Yeah, I like the caramel. I feel like it's not like, I think the peanuts do a good job of not making it too sweet. Like they balance it out. I think it would be better dark chocolate, but I mean, it's like for kids, so. All right, I give that a six out of 10, because I'm not a big Snickers person, actually. I, mm, six and a half. If someone gave it to me, I would eat it, but I wouldn't buy it. Okay, which chip, which chip should we do? Let's leave the ketchup for last. Oh, okay, okay. I say we do roast chicken. Okay, poulet roti. <laughs> We have the lace, roast chicken flavor. And you said you've never had these ones before? No. Okay, I gotta sniff everything. Oh my God, it smells like chicken. <laughs> it smells like what you would season the chicken with, like a roast chicken. Chicken bouillon. Yes, that's exactly <laughs> what it smells like. It tastes like ramen. Like Maruchan. It tastes like gravy. I kind of like it, but I kind of don't. No. Yeah. I think it confuses me as much as those Turkish delights. I honestly think it tastes like if I got a bag of the Maruchan ramen powder, like the super cheap one, <laughs> and then put it on chips. I just keep on going in for more. Yeah. They're kind of good, but kind of weird. Yeah. I would never buy them myself, I think. No. I would go for something else. I like Doritos. I'm a big Dorito fan. Not sponsored, unfortunately, unless you're out there, Doritos. <laughs> That's so weird. It's just a ramen. Made in Canada, though. Canada slay. How is it? Aww. <laughs> I don't know. It's weird. At first, I disliked it, but then I keep eating it. I think the more I eat it, the less I like it, but I still can't stop. No. <laughs> <laughs> It's like when you've already like, had your packet of ramen, but you still want another one because you're just like, oh, and then it's spot. too much. And then it's too much, yeah. Um, okay. Really? Yeah, it just tastes like ramen to me. Time to ruin the taste with some more vanilla Coke. <laughs> I'd recommend those. They're very addicting. Yeah, I'll give it a seven out of 10 because it's kind of weird, but I couldn't stop eating them. Yeah. Unexpected. Yeah, not a first pick. Maybe a, you would have oh, to be in the mood to- all after. Oh right. yeah. It's, you know what? The poulet, the roast chicken, lays, it's like a, oh my God. It's such nobody a strong get a, taste. And nobody get authenticated. It's like a period craving flavor, I feel. <gasps> yes. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Like you'd be like, oh my God, I need some of these. That's what it is. Okay, I give it a seven out of 10. I kind of like them. <laughs> I think a seven out of a 10 is like the perfect description. All right, slim. 
Now okay. what do we do? Oh gosh, we've got to do more chocolates. <gasps> Crispy crunch! <laughs> <laughs> There's so much. <laughs> we got a lot of stuff. This is a crispy crunch bar by Cadbury. And we have Cadbury in America. A lot of people are like, Americans don't have Cadbury, but we do. Is that a thing? On TikTok it is at least. People be oh. hating. What is this actually? Yeah, it's got like something on the outside and then something on the inside. It's crunchy. And super peanutty. If you like peanuts, you'd love it. But I hate peanuts. Yes, cross section. Ooh. It's another one that I kind of love and hate at the same time. Like I hate the immediate flavor, but it's got this very, very sweet after flavor that's really nice. But then after that is a very peanutty flavor that I don't like. It would be good in ice cream. Mm. I'll give it a five out of 10, cause I didn't hate it, but I don't like peanuts. And it was super peanutty. It was like an explosion of crunch and peanuts. Five out of 10, I agree. All right, there we go. Look at us, in sync. Okay, let's do, oh, you haven't tried the coffee crisp yet. Crispy round two. Here we have a coffee crisp. I think that we might actually have these in America, but I'm not sure. It says product prepared in Canada though, so maybe I'm wrong. But I've never had it regardless. I feel like either this is gonna be fire or it's gonna be like hella mid. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> this caffeine is really in. <laughs> I think it's mid. <laughs> mm, it is mid. You know, it tastes like the Coca Cola with coffee. Like. <laughs> Like we, like we have like the big like things where you, for Halloween where you give out the little tiny chocolates and these are always in it. And I always go for the arrows first, the Kit Kats, I'm that stuff. Kit -Kat and then this girly. is like, fine, I'll pick it up because it's there, I feel bad, make it even, you know. This is, that's my coffee crisp experience. My dad would fuck with that hard though. He loves coffee shit. It's like a dad kind of candy. <laughs> yeah, I give it a five out of 10. It's like whatever. It's like, you just need to try it because you don't have it. Yeah. I feel like you don't go under five unless it was like disgusting. But it was fine. Five out of 10. Mm-hmm. All right. Like it's there. A lot of these are like, it's there. Yeah. I wonder who buys them though. Not okay. us. You go next. We have ruffles. Mozzarella and hold on. There we go. Mozzarella, yeah, I don't think it's focused, but it's mozzarella and marinara ruffles. I'm not that excited for these. I like, all the ruffles have like cute little blurbs on the back. Is ruffles a Canadian brand? Or did they just like Canada more? They had like little stories like, Canada's favorite ridge chip brand has recreated a classic pub style that is so mind blowing. Your taste buds will be in shock. See, it's like a little story. Oh my God, this, I've never even noticed that. It <laughs> it's smells- really bad Canadian. Similar to the poutine ones. Oh, it's more cheesy. I mean, it's mozzarella. Mm. Oh, it tastes like a mozzarella stick. Like literally exactly like one, but as a potato chip. I wish I had more like tomato flavor. I'm craving something flat, fresh. <laughs> oh no, this tastes exactly like a mozzarella breadstick. It's so weird. It's very cheesy. That's crazy. How'd they do that? Specially selected potatoes. Mm, this one's kind of hard to rate because it was so it was so amazingly exact, but like, would I get it again? Five out of 10. Oh, <gasps> I give it a six out of 10. I, it was kind of good because it tasted exactly like a mozzarella stick. I, I don't know how often I would buy it, you know? <laughs> I think I would like, if, I had had this first, I would like it more, but because we've been eating so much stuff, like it just doesn't feel special as compared to some of the other stuff that we had. Like if I had this before the roast chicken, I'd be like, oh yeah. But I don't feel like going back the way that I did with the roast chicken. I just keep eating it because I'm like so amazed at how much it tastes like a mo mozzarella stick. We're almost towards the end. Yeah, 
We got a Wonder Bar and an Arrow Bar and ketchup chips last. I feel like the Arrow's gonna be good so we can save that for later. Yeah. And we can try the Wonder Bar. Here, you could display it up by the camera because I'm comfy right here. Let's go. Yeah! Ooh. I forget what these are. There's a lot of liking <laughs> on it. It's Cadbury, so. Peanut butter caramel experience. Do Canadian people like peanut butter a lot? I guess. I've always been kind of neutral towards it. No, that's how I feel. I'm like, eh, I'll eat it. But when I used to work at an ice cream shop, people really liked the chocolate peanut butter ice cream, mm. which was terrible because that stuff was horrible to scoop, by the way. I mean, is it like soft? Are there peanuts in it? It's like a log of peanut butter with a crispy peanut outing and then a chocolate outside. I hate that. Yeah, I just like it. But I'm not offendicated. I just hate the texture. It's kind of gummy. It's not like peanut butter. It's like peanut nougat, but super fluffy peanut nougat. Yeah, but then it's like also like there's kind of crispy, but it's like kind of soft and it's like, I don't like it. She hates it. I hate that. I give it a five out of 10. It was eh. I give it a two out of 10. The flavor is fine. The texture was terrible. <laughs> All right. It's okay though, because we have <laughs> the arrow. Eh. There we go. Teamwork makes the dream work. Yay! <laughs> I think I've had arrow before. It's an American thing, isn't it? No, I think it's a European thing. What? Mm -hmm. Really? No, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's a European thing. These are like my favorite chocolate bars. Really? I thought you were just getting it because you liked arrows. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, I got it because you were talking about it. So oh. <laughs> and I found it endearing. But no, these are not American. They have this like a bubbly. I think Hershey tried to make their own like bubbly chocolate and nobody cared about it in America because it was like, okay. yeah. I won't. Yeah, there's so much air in it. Eh, it's chocolate. This camera's so far away from me. There we go. That's the, cr oh, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Cross section. The thing yeah. is like, when you have the smaller ones, it's nice because you let it like melt on your mouth and then you can like kind of, like the bubbles melting on your mouth feels really nice. I know. I think Arrow's your European chocolate though, but yeah. I don't know. I don't like the texture. I want my chocolate to be like thick. That's how I like my Ooh. women. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah. We... Oh, the final, the final finale. <laughs> Ketchup. Pass with Ooh. Ooh. I think it's, I think it's fine. Sweet. Tank. Oh my god, there's no little blurb. Well, yeah, yeah that's the Ruffles, Ruffles brand. Tangy, sweet, tasty, succulent, Lay's ketchup. That's what it says on the bag. Okay, does it smell like ketchup though? Oh, <laughs> it, <does. laughs> oh it looks crazy. <laughs> it smells a lot like ketchup. You gotta get one with a lot of ketchup stuff on it. I think I did. If you couldn't see, focus on, look at that. Oh, look at that chip. It's so catchy. Like it. <laughs> oh, I'm like terrified you're not gonna like it. <laughs> oh, that was good. Is this your favorite? If I'm not gonna go for Doritos, I'm gonna go for ketchup chips. It does taste like ketchup, but like a bit more vinegary. It's like a more sweet vinegary. Mm -hmm. I fuck with it. Mm -hmm. You come in at a good time because I used to hate salt and vinegar chips. So I would have hated everything, but now I like them, so I like these. Oh good, you came here just in time. <laughs> I really like it when brands like, like they do like the mozzarella stick. It tastes like a mozzarella stick. The ketchup, it tastes like ketchup. Like I like when they have like a crazy food item that tastes like another food and then it actually does and it doesn't just taste reminiscent of it. Mm hmm. Which is why all dress is just called all dress because <laughs> no one knows what it actually tastes like. I need to go back. I need to decide which one I like because you asked me. Mm. Oh, I don't know. I like yeah. them both. I These like are fun flavors. I wish they had more of flavors like this in America. I like them both equally. They're different vibes. And they're very like prevalent, at least like growing up, really? they're very prevalent for me. Like. You go to like a party and people have ketchup or all dress chips. Really? Like it's like a very much like a, well, again, for my personal experience, it's been a go-to in terms of like chips. 
Yeah, if you're Canadian, let me know if you also experienced that. Yeah. I feel like in America, you just had like the normal plain lays and then you had like the ruffles for like the wavy textures. You gotta experiment a bit more. Chips are amazing. My, my, my family really likes sour cream and onion chips, but I don't like them that much. Do you have those? Mm. Yeah, it's like a basic. I feel like America, everything America has, it's everywhere. And then everywhere else has like cool shit that we don't get. Mm. Like last night, I had the Mick poutine. <laughs> I was like, I was like, and th there's a Popeye's poutine also. <laughs> <laughs> like anywhere you go, Bro. that's like fast food will probably have it. I was a little drunk, okay? So I saw the Popeye's poutine and I was like dying of laughter. And I took a, like a picture of it and I was like, Popeye's poutine. And I texted all my friends and I was like, Popeye's poutine. And they all laughed about it. Yeah, literally like, <laughs> <laughs> Cajun poutine. I won't be exposing anything. There we go. <laughs> I kind of want to try that though. But what if it does all just taste the same? Um, I feel like it's all going to taste the same. Mm. Unless you want to go to like a special poutine place. Gourmet poutine. I think Montreal is where they're like known maybe for having good poutine. I mean, don't quote me on that, but I feel, I feel like, like it's I Montreal. Because you know? I have a friend I met backpacking in Thailand mm -hmm. and he lives there. I was gonna, I was gonna try to visit him, but then it's like really far from here, so I was like, never mind. All right, that was fun. Wow, oh. I'm just snacking. I know. I want to continue eating, but let me <laughs> chill. Oh wait, okay, okay. We have to rank. Oh, all yeah. of our chips. This is gonna be kind of hard though. So um, I think we should do separate ranking for the chips and mm -hmm. then the kind, the candies. Mm -hmm. So first we'll rank the chips. Mm. So we have up on the contenders, the ruffles. You Ruffles all dressed. Just for everyone to be reminded, we just had ketchup. Then we had mozzarella and marinara. Poutine. Roast chicken. Mm. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Okay. I'll do number one, all dressed. Cause I feel like I'd pick, pick that up at the grocery store most. Mm. And then I'll do ketchup as now rank number two. And then I'll do roast chicken as rank number three. I don't know why, that was kind of fire. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll do mozzarella and marinara as four. And poutine ruffles as five because they flopped. Yeah. They tasted like, I don't even know. It's like compared to everything else, they were kind of just there. It's like a subtle gravy taste, I think. Mm -hmm. It needs to be more. Maybe, if, yeah, maybe if you don't like a lot of flavor, you'd probably, you know. I like a lot of flavor. And it's the very vinegary stuff that I love, but mine is ketchup, all dressed, uh, chicken, poulet, mozzarella, and then poutine. So we're like kind of similar, except we're just switched on the first. Mm -hmm. You heard it here first. <laughs> Our <laughs> official Canadian chips ranking. That's good. Oh, That's good. Okay, okay, we have to do okay, the okay, candy. Okay. Candies, candies. So hmm. we had. I can't remember the order we did this in. We have so many. Coffee crisps, Wonder Bars, Turkish Delights, Arrow. Arrow. Oh, Henry, Crispy Crunch, and lastly, the Maynards Wine Gums, the alcohol gummies for kids. Yeah, and let's just oh, include yeah. our Cokes in this as well. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I don't really, I wasn't crazy about anything. I'll put the Arrow as number one. And then Maynard's wine gums as number two. Oh. And then everything else goes at the bottom. <laughs> like it's like, this is the list, and then there's a bunch of blank spaces, and then everything else is at the bottom. Yeah, mine is Maynard's one, Arrows two, O Henry three. Ah, I don't want to do this, but I think the Turkish tur tur Delight is four. Um, Coffee Crisp, The Crunch, The Cursed Arrow Bar, and the last thing is stupid coffee. It's disgusting. And I just like, honestly, the more you drink them, the worse they get. And it's just like, I don't know. I also drink everything with like ice. And Mother. so maybe it's because there's no ice, but I do hate these. We forgot to rank our Kinder Eggs. <laughs> Number one. Kinder eggs. You're number one. Yeah, I agree. I got an anime figure. I got a figurine. It's not an anime figure. An anime figure. It's a Barbie. You bought an anime figure. You from... know what? 
They got a Barbie anime figure now though. Barbie and Android. And I got to see that like, grotesque face plate. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to pay full price for it though. I don't think she's worth it. I'm done with them. Me too. I sold a bunch of mine Androids. That's it. I don't, we don't have an ad, ad outro. <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, my intro was so well done that the outro has to match that. Um, so to say that, um, don't get the Coca-Cola with coffee. Eat yourself some all dressed in ketchup chips and go watch Liba's channel. <laughs> if you like, <laughs> just call me some a kiss. <laughs> if you like Jojo and if you like me, just buying things. Yeah. And making custom Nendroids yeah. tutorials. My custom Nendroid video is kind of flippy flopping, but it's okay. Well, I watched it and since I'm the prime Did you of... think I filmed it good? I've never filmed a long tutorial before. I think you did it good. Okay. I'm trying to be informative with my content because I'm not good at teaching, but I'm good at learning, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not good at teaching, so I just don't try to be informative with my content. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. I love Canada. <laughs> Yeah. Like a gunpoint or something. <laughs> I need the can. I feel like everyone on figure YouTube is a Canadian. Oh, that everyone yeah. is a freaking Canadian. I love Canada. What did they say? Vive Canada. Vive la Canada. Yeah. Oh, Canada. <laughs> <laughs> um. Thank you, Canada, for the chips and the figure YouTube content. Thank you, Canada, for letting Liva come. Thank you, America, for making Liba exist. I, well, I don't know. <laughs> um, and you guys need to step up your chip game. And if you like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on bell for post notifications. There we go. I'm plugging you. <laughs> Thanks. I don't even do that. <laughs> really? <laughs> um, but honestly, if you're here, going to do it for me. Uh, that's really nice of you. Thank you. <laughs> Um, work. I'm gonna bye. <laughs>